Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at the Opera Web Browser. Often neglected, often ignored, sitting down depending on how you work out your stats in the 5% range of market share with Google Chrome being the monster out there right now. But you shouldn't overlook Opera. It runs pretty lightweight. It's got the cool little speed dial right here with the icons, which you know are similar to your Windows 10 start screen. You can quite simply add a site, or when you bookmark a site, for example, you can add it to speed dial. So let's take a quick look here, just so you have an idea, so we can favorite it if you want here. And as you can see, I already have speed dial from using it last time. You can also, as you're used to seeing, pick the bookmarks bar or whatever you want once you're done. You can just close that out, and then when you go back to your speed dial, there she is right there. So essentially, it works like any browser used to. However, a lot of people don't know that uh, Opera's been around for 21 years now. Uh, to put it into comparison, Firefox is about 14, and Google Chrome is about 8 years. So a lot of these things were copied from Opera, and that includes the speed dial, the pop-up blockers, private browsing tab browsing that you love so much up here everybody just copied it from opera so you're looking at the originator and it's still out there it's still being updated they have a newer version now too i think called opera next or something like that i don't know so here's your bookmarks here's your speed dial which is this page here's your news if you're in the mood for news there are is your history and there are extensions like any other browser you used to you can go and add new extensions so pretty pretty simple to use but it has some interesting options as well let's go through a few of those you can manage your tabs right through here and let's go over to the menu where you can do many things that you're used to seeing again new tab new window a lot of these browsers nowadays aren't that much different it's sort of like smartphones there's only so many things you can currently do with them and they're all pretty well being done you've got your zoom very very similar to what you want the speed dial news we just showed you bookmarks synchronized between your devices downloads history settings extensions turbo which is designed to it'll explain it to you turbo is designed to allow you to run on a slower network for example so by clicking that you can just see that it has the check mark here and you can shut it off by checking it again nice and easy to use you have other tools, again, developer menu, stuff like that, that you are used to seeing. So and some of the other things it does, very similar again to what you're used to seeing in Chrome as you can go into your settings. And you have your basic settings with ad blocker, startup manager, go into your themes, which is uh, available in other spots in here as well. Uh, battery saver, which is interesting. It's on by default since I'm on a desktop. Uh, cookies, how do you want to manage your cookies? You want to block them, delete them till you quit. PDF documents. Let's take a look. You have your advanced settings. So if you want to go further on here, websites, how do you want to display them? JavaScript, key gen, pop ups, video pop out, notifications, microphone, MIDI control. Nice, not, not a lot. You can go through this in a few minutes, really tweak it to the way you want it. Privacy and security. I've been kind of waiting for this. Once again, some things duplicate, but you can use prediction service to speed it up, protect me from malicious sites, a lot of stuff that you're used to seeing. But you have the VPN. Now here's a little VPN icon here, virtual private networking. So you can check it or uncheck it as needed. And as you can see, there's a few other security settings down here, but we're about the VPN. What's nice about the VPN and this is, it's not complicated. Click the button, turn it on, and you're now using it. Now if I click this, and I can't do that because it shows my IP address, the only settings you have that are on, off, and where you want to show that you're coming from united states canada that's it there's nothing else to it so you can click this and there'll be a button here that says off so there you go now we're running through a vpn for privacy and let's play around here a little bit get back to the home page as you can see it also has the new private window you're used to that that will now explain to you and you can tell it not to show it again that once you close all these private windows, all the information will be erased. So basically, once I'm done doing whatever I'm doing here, close over here in the corner, just like you would with the main browser, and you'll be back here with the browser. So here's the other settings tab I was mentioning to you with the themes, speed dial, suggestions for in here for them to make suggestions, search box, etc. And that jumps to the browser settings, which again is over here. So it's just a kind of duplicate depending on what you want to do so if you want to jump right to themes and play around with them a lot 
you could do it faster over here than browsing through your settings. So it's a nice browser. Uh, it's kind of a shame it just doesn't, it's only sitting at 5% market share. Google Chrome really is just dominating it. But if you're looking for something different, and a lot of times people will go from uh, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, a variation of Firefox, or Google Chrome, and sometimes this gets overlooked. Even some Safari, Safari's got small market share as well, a little more Apple and iPhone. But if you haven't played around with Opera, I actually think you'll like it. It is designed to be simple. I think you will agree that it is pretty simple to use and convenient, and that's what its goal has always been, is to make it convenient, safe, secure, lightweight. And I think they've done a good job doing that. So take a look, I'll put a link down below, see if you agree. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think, and thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time, I hope.